Greetings everybody, my name is Aaron Kucharski. Do you want to make money in the stock market like me? Well, let's get to it. This is Wizard Money. Woo! Do you want to make money in the stock market like me? Well, click the link below. Download the Robinhood app. You get a free stock. I get a free stock. We both get a free stock. Good afternoon and welcome to Wizard Money. On today's episode of Wizard Money, we are going to be discussing what's been going on uh, the last week with the stock market in regards to uh, Pfizer has just announced that they have a vaccine for the coronavirus that is 90% effective and, and with that, the entire market has gone up. Um, like Ford, Ford is up a lot of money this week. Uh, what else is up? Pretty much everything. Everything went up. When they first made that announcement, everything went up 10%. It was a 10% hike. Um, and a lot of the stocks that I have, like Six Flags or Carnival or Norwegian Cruise Lines or Disney, all the outside stocks are the ones that went up because of that happening. Um, here I have a chart. We got... These are some of my big plays uh, for the week. We got Ford at the top, SM Energy. If you don't have SM Energy, um, you might want to look into that. I have 100 shares. I'm in at like a dollar and change a share. Before COVID, back in February, it was like nine or ten dollars a share. It dropped a lot. And these are the stocks that I am predicting are going to go up once the coronavirus goes away. So yeah, we've got Ford, SM Energy, Carnival, Six Flags, Disney, uh, AT&T, Apple. Those are ones that as of today are up uh, according, to, um, according to my stocks. And then we got Netflix and Tesla down there in the red. Those two are down slightly, but not, not by a whole lot. Um, some of my best plays here, we have, let's see, who, who we got here? Um, Good, which is Gladstone Commercial. They are $18.40 a share. What I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a square up bubble somewhere up here, and that's gonna essentially uh, post what I'm, what, what I'm talking about so you can see, because I know you can't see my phone from there. Um, early on in the week, uh, a week ago, my portfolio was at like 4,700. 4,700. 4, I am currently at 5,600. Um, there's been a big spike. I'm up $801 in the last month. Uh, and in the last week, I am up probably like two, two to $400, give or take. Because last week was weird. Um, the beginning of the week, everything went way up when they first heard about the news. Then, it, then each day it was going down just a little bit and a little bit. And then it went a little bit back up uh, on Friday. And today, today it just went another two. I was up $200 this morning. Um, matter of fact, right now I'm up $201.72. This has been a nuts week for stocks. So if you're looking for picks, if you're looking for plays, um, one, of, one, of, one of the plays that I have that I sold half of my port half of my uh, portfolio of it, because I had 10 shares, I sold five. Albertsons, Albertsons is now doing stock. They just paid me a dividend of 50 cents a couple days ago. My biggest dividend players that I have, a lot of a lot of the stocks I have aren't currently paying dividends because, well they were, but that when I first bought them they were paying dividends, but then they stopped. But uh, PSEC, if you, guys, if you guys haven't had a chance to look into a company, look into Prospect Capital, because that Prospect Capital has always been between four and six dollars a share. Uh, their highest uh, was April of 2017. They were like two. They were like nine, nine fifty a share, nine forty a share. Uh, during the the pandemic, though, they went all the way down at one point to like four dollars, uh, four dollars and forty nine cents, three eighty three. What was I think their lowest three eighty three back April third. But they don't really fluctuate that much. They've managed to stay consistent throughout the entire pandemic. 
and I'm getting paid six dollars a month in dividends every month from that company. So they've been they've been they've been pretty solid for me. I got a hundred shares, um, five hundred and twenty-two dollars market value. Uh, Prospect Capital is definitely definitely a, a good dividend uh, dividend player uh, in the game. Uh, Ford. Ford, you guys are probably wondering about my Ford shares. I have 100 shares of Ford. Now, Ford is weird because they pay 15 cents a dividend when they do pay a dividend. They have not yet reinstated the dividend. I'm hoping by the end of the year they will reinstate the dividend because I have 100 shares. So that'll be an additional $15 or one, one to three shares, depending if they're if if they go down to $5 a share. I'm in at $5 a share. So essentially, a $15 dividend is three shares but right now because they went up so high they're eight dollars and seventy four cents uh... right now as i'm filming this video uh, but yeah no ford uh, fifteen dollars that'd be what two eight eight sixteen so that'd be almost two full shares so every 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 three every quarter because ford pays quarterly um, every quarter i would get an additional two shares or whatever from them uh, now as far as my high stakes, the high stakes ones that are worth a lot of money, that's where it gets tricky. Um, Netflix is at $478 a share. They're down a little bit, but I don't have a full share of them. Uh, I'm only in for a portion of a share right now, because again, $500 a share. Um, I have one share of Tesla. Tesla is down a little bit this week, but what I've been noticing is when all of the all of like the Six Flags Disney when all of those types of stocks go up then all of the the, the big players tend to take a little bit of a dip um, you know right now they are like recycling if you will through the um, through the through the business cycle so uh, look out for that as well um, Tesla is currently at four hundred and six dollars and forty cents a share um, I am down actually twenty seven dollars because Tesla's weird. I bought in for Tesla at $600, sold at like $650, $700 back last year, um, and then and then they skyrocketed at the beginning of the year this year up to like $2,000 a share, or something crazy. And I was I was kicking myself for selling it. So when they did the reverse split, I made sure to buy one share just to hold. So Tesla's a good stock. I think in the long term Tesla's going to con continue to rise. And it's weird because they don't have the market sales to to cover the spread. Like they're like they're going up higher than what they should theoretically actually be worth. And I don't. That's that that's kind of how that works. It's like with with the whole video games, you know, Fortnite or Apex Legends or something that's hot. Everybody jumps on the bandwagon, and then that's what they're doing with Tesla right now. Tesla isn't supposed to be as high as it is if you go by their market value, the market share, and all that stuff. But because they are the popular new kid in school right now that they're getting all the attention they're getting all the money um, anyway as far as Apple Apple is another another stock that I, I am big on I'm actually up thirty dollars in Apple because I am in at one hundred and thirteen dollars a share Apple is currently today at a hundred and twenty dollars a share hundred twenty dollars and fifty six cents I'm up a dollar thirty today um, but yeah, I, I'm up $30 overall, up about 6%. So Apple is another good one to get into. Um, uh, another one I have that's over $100 a share is Disney. I have, I have one share of Disney. Um, Disney is at $143 a share. I bought it at $126 a share. I'm, I'm up $17. Bucks. The market's been very volatile. All of these big name stocks. Disney at one point was $85 a share. I missed out on that. I should have bought it. When it was eighty-five dollars a share, I did not. That was, you know, kind of my loss. I have one share of Disney. I got four shares of Apple. I've got one share of Tesla. Um, and if you're wondering about my other stocks, like the ones that are more of like joke stocks, uh, Lubies. If you must know, Lubies is at three dollars a share. And I'll tell you why I put so much money into that because I, I bought Lubies. At originally it was like a dollar a share and most more recently I sold a bunch it went up to like two something and I sold a bunch doubled out and then I bought it back in at about two dollars a share even because they had announced that they were liquidating 
and they were going to give all a lot of the proceeds to the investors. They said it was going to be between three and four dollars a share. So I bought it two. I bought like a hundred shares at two dollars a share, and then they they spiked up like they said. They went up to three dollars and thirty cents, thirty something cents a share, and I sold them there because I didn't know how much higher it was going to go. And luckily, I sold them there because then um, the they went back down to like two something a share. They're currently at three dollars a share. They could go past the three dollars and thirty cents, but Luby's themselves had announced that they were going to um, get the share price between three and four dollars. I figured three thirty was right in the middle of that. It was also a dollar thirty something of a profit on each share, so I went and cut my losses with them. Now another stock, another stock that I that I did good with, uh, J C Penney's. A lot, a lot of you guys laughed at me for my J.C. Penney's play. I bought 500 shares of J.C. Penney's at 20 cents a share. J.C. Penney's is like 118, 119 some odd years old. I bought them at 20 cents a share, uh, and then they spiked up to like 80 cents one day because they announced that they weren't officially going out of business. They were doing some uh, another form of restructuring their bankruptcy so they could stay open. It went up to 80 cents a share. I sold at 80 cents a share. I made like $300 on that play. Um, but yeah, you know, and uh, JCPenney's just announced four days ago that they're launching new women's brand, Stylus. So there's that. Uh, another thing it says here, JCPenney's sale approved by bankruptcy court. JCPenney rescue deal approved in bankruptcy court, saving close to 60,000 jobs. So JCPenney's is gonna try to not go out of business. Now I will say, uh, with Robinhood traders, you cannot buy any more shares of J.C. Penney's. Right now, it is only letting you sell. I don't know if that will change in the future. We will find out. But for now, all you can do is sell your J.C. Penney stocks. Uh, for that one, and there's really not a whole lot of other ones. Another one I do recommend is the PowerShare SPHD PowerShares S&P 500. High dividend, low volatility. Um, the uh, div yield right now is 5%. You want to try and stay in that like 5% range because I found out the hard way with these next two stocks that I'm going to call out, um, which is Washington Prime Group and Pennsylvania Real, Real, Real Estate Investment Trust. Uh, Pennsylvania Real Estate Investment Trust. And I'm not just going to tell you all my good stocks. I'm going to tell you the bad ones too because there, there are some pretty bad ones. Um, I got 100 shares. I'm in at $1.23 a share for this one, and this one's only $0.46 cents a share right now. So if you, if you want to average down or if you want to buy something cheap, uh, this one is cheap, but be very, very careful with this one because this one, along with the other one I'm about to tell you, could very well go bankrupt and you just lose everything. Because right now I'm currently down $76 on this one, a difference of negative uh, 62%. Because like, like I said, they're up today. They're up. I'm up a dollar seventy-one today, but overall I'm down. Market value forty-six eighteen. I'm in at one hundred twenty-three dollars, so I'm I've almost I lost like two-thirds of my investment pretty much with this one. And this isn't even my worst one. We will get to my worst one, which I do feel Pennsylvania Real Estate Investment Trust. If any of them are going to go completely belly up, it would be this one. Uh, the next one I'm going to tell you, even though I'm down a lot, I'm actually up a lot today, specifically, and I think they might bounce back. Uh, and this one is Washington Prime Group. And the reason why I mentioned Pennsylvania Real Estate and Washington Prime Group is because I got into these because they were dividend, they were kind of like dividend traps. Washington Prime Group was paying me 25 bucks. It was supposed to be 25 bucks like a month or every other month or whatever. They had a really high dividend. It was like 25 cent dividend per share, but right now, they're only 74, they're only 74 cents a share. So there, it says div yield 123%. Obviously these guys aren't paying dividends right now because of what's going on. But I will say this, Washington Prime Group is up uh, over the past week 13 cents. They were down as low as 59 cents a share. And this is my worst stock because I have 412 shares with a market value of $305 but I'm down $322, 50% on this one because my average cost is $1.52. I'm thinking about buying, um, getting it up to 500 shares because I want to average this one down. Right now my average cost is $1.52 a share. I want to get that down. 
more close to a dollar even a share because I feel like if I can get it to a dollar even a share, you know. But I'm also being cautious with this one because this is another one that could very easily go belly up. Um, and it's because it, it's because a lot of the stocks that are doing um, like malls, um, like this one here, Washington Prime Group engages in the ownership, management, acquisition, and development of retail properties. You know, so like Simon Malls and stuff like that. Those places are getting severely hindered right now by the coronavirus. So obviously their stocks are being hit pretty bad, pretty hard with that, like that. But like I said, Washington Prime Group, I feel like they'll be able to pull out of this. Um, they, Like I said, they were supposed to pay me a $25 dividend like all year round, you know, every month, a couple months. They were gonna, they were gonna pay out dividends. That, that's why I jumped in and I bought a bunch of them. Um, I should have waited more than likely because they did go way down, and I'm down 300 bucks on that one. But then there's other stocks like Ford where I'm up about 300 dollars. You know, Ford I'm in at five dollars and 77 cents a share. I have 100 shares. Ford is five dollars and 74 or eight dollars and 74 cents a share. I'm up 297.99, up about 300 dollars. So some stocks I'm down, some stocks I'm up. My overall portfolio is $5,673.64. I am up $216 so far today. I'm up $187 for the week. Most of that is for today. The, for the month, I'm up $800. Um, on the year, it says I have a thousand more dollars than I did a year ago. I did make one slight miscalculation error early on in the month, I want to say, or, or in the year, it was like June 8th, I had like $7,000 in the stock market, it went from 4700 to like 6900 or something like that, and I didn't sell, and it went back down to the 4700 you know, but outside of that, everything's doing good. I would say that it would be good to have $1,000 of buying power. Currently, I don't have anywhere near that uh, because I just bought a bunch of stocks because they were cheap. Uh, but like usually in the market, you you want to and, and, and I might even sell six hundred to a thousand dollars worth of stock myself in the next com couple coming weeks, just so I have money set to the side just in case there's another crash. Because right now everything's going up, but once the second wave gets in full effect, if we go back on, if we go back on lockdown, I would assume a lot of these are going to go back down. So be careful of that. Maybe put like five hundred to a thousand dollars aside in cash, and then if we go back on lockdown, then when things drop, buy a bunch of stuff back, you know, and have even more stocks. Because I've lost, I could have had like almost two hundred shares of Ford by now if I would have sold at the high mark, bought back at the low mark, you know, but anyways, so that is, that is wizard money for today, um, I'm going to put some screenshots up of stuff during the video so you can see what's going on, so you can see the transparency, this is the wizard money board, dry erase board, you guys probably remember that from back in the day for the donation board, uh, I will be doing more live streams, stay tuned for that. I got my red and green markers because you got to have green for positive money, red for not so positive money. But anyway, this will conclude Wizard Money for today. Thank you guys and have a nice week. Buy them stocks.